D&D Beyond have returned this week. Sam, if you have a few words. I don't have much to say. D&D Beyond, uh, as, as many of you know, I am running for the president of, of, of D&D Beyond and the campaign continues. Uh, I think my campaign has been run great. I have a lot of attention and support from regular Americans and people all around the world and even better than regular people, celebrities have also endorsed me, as we as we saw. But I'm required by law to give equal time to my opponent, so tonight I'm gonna turn it over to Liam O'Brien to see what he wants to talk about. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> Matt, if I may. I have a vitally important announcement this evening. Um, let's be frank, over the last several weeks, the political landscape around D&D Beyond has gotten a little clouded. Uh, in a race that should be about the issues, plain and simple. Well, again and again, we see an election process lost in a haze, obscured by cheap gimmicks, third party candidates, and an overall, do not say that name, an overall lack of focus. And while my overwhelming lead in the polls should be a comfort to us all. Well, let's, you know, the polls can be wrong. Make no mistake. <laughs> the polls can be wrong. Unlike some, I take this election eminently serious. Mm. And to that end, in an effort to shine a light on corruption and illuminate any of you still in doubt, it does me, and the Everlight herself, my great honor to formally announce, <laughs> Florence, <laughs> my running mate. There's on the road, there's literally no one you could announce that would that would have any chance of beating me. But go on, go on. Come with me to D and D and Beyond, Ashley Johnson. <gasps> what? My running mate. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. You all know where I stand. This is cheating. <laughs> Ashley, welcome back. The tabletop is yours. Speech! You're to Speech. Go she can't, she's not even. Equal time. Thank you, Mr. President. Oh, 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 oh As a testament to Liam's character and judge of thereof, he has chosen me as his vice president in this campaign. To say I'm honored would be an understatement of my own achievement, so I will just say you're welcome. <laughs> as Liam's running mate, it is only fitting that I drop some running hate. What? Wow. Wow. To the people of this great land, this man, offers you not only himself, but also myself. And what is myself? Well, I can tell you what myself is not, and myself is not an alcoholic. Okay. Mm. Friends, sure. people, voters. We all watched this week's Talks Machina, oh, where no. my running mate's opponent <laughs> came out in favor of alcoholism. Alcoholism, what is this, 1956? What do you go home and watch Mad Men at night and pretend that's how the world still is? <laughs> Do you want a candidate with the lily white hands of a man who has never worked a day in his life? <laughs> or someone with hands so seasoned and robust, you both imagine them tucking you in at night and strangling your enemies at the same time. There are real issues on the table with this election. Are the people supposed to rally behind a guy who looks like a donkey wearing a Jeff Goldblum mask? Or a tried and true man of the people with a smile that doesn't make you want to drown yourself in hot goat piss? <laughs> Oh, and this third party candidate, Arsqueef, just wants to sleep with my fiance and my running mate. <laughs> right now, yes, we are ahead in the polls, but we may not always have this delicious of a lead, but let's be honest, polls are meant to be ridden. Only one person, and that person's recently announced running mate can bring order and structure to the world once more. Those two people that I'm talking about are Liam and myself, just to be clear. <laughs> so this year, hashtag vote with your Johnson. Oh, <laughs> and vote O'Brien for president. Oh, and that is all I have to say. That's, oh, wow. That's my vice president. Wow. Mm.
I am a compelling, oh, convincing. Yeah. I feel my whole body hurts. <laughs> I feel like I've been trampled by some sort of livestock. Yeah. So that roast of Sam Regal will be on Comedy Central <laughs> uh, at about 1 p.m. tonight. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, wow. Jeff Goldblum yeah. mask. That is the oh. best funeral dirge I ever heard. Mm. Wow. Oh. You know. <laughs> Good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my head hurts. My head hurts. Ow. Thanks, D&D Beyond. Uh, <laughs> be, be sure to subscribe at dndbeyond.com. Oh, my God. Uh, I think I'm going to throw up now. <laughs> back to you, Matt.